Welcome to Beyond Neutral. I'm your host, Paula Reed. I think of the journey of life as a road that we're driving down. We get to speed up on the straightaways, ease back on the curves, and I don't know about you, but I've certainly had the obstacle in the roadway that I never expected to see, and I had to either slam my brakes on or swerve to avoid hitting it. But whether we're talking about our careers or relationships or even just managing through life's phases, life is all about shifting and moving from one place to another. The challenge is that sometimes in trying to get from where we were to where we want to be, we can get stuck while we're trying to shift. And we land in what I call the neutral space, where we're applying old ways of thinking to new situations. Join me and some incredibly inspiring guests as we talk about what it takes to shift into gear and get to where you want to be. Because here's the deal. If you're sitting in neutral, you're going nowhere. Welcome to today's episode of Beyond Neutral. So happy to be joining you today or to have you joining me today, I should say. Thank you for being here. Um, wanted to do a follow-up episode to the conversation I had last week with Steve Gallo. Steve is the president of UFOS, which is an amazing product line of recovery footwear. If you have a sore foot, a sore ankle, sore toes, whatever it is from an injury or just overuse, try them. They work great. So I'm not here to advertise that, but I'm here (laughs) to talk about the conversation that he and I had because Steve has had an amazing career. And I hope that one of the things that you took away from that conversation was how humble he is. He's a very humble person and he um, has accomplished a lot and yet really kind of holds on to these roots of who he is and, and really being grateful for, for so many opportunities that he's had in his career and for the learning experiences he's had in his career. So what I was uh, interested in talking about today as a follow-up for, for that is a comment that he made at the end of the show. It's, you know, it's amazing. I do these interviews. I always ask this question, what advice would your younger self give you and what age would you be? And I swear every time it's like the best wisdom of the episode. But he said, and he had many points of of wisdom in it, but I'm interested to kind of talk a little bit about when he said, don't settle. And he would have realized that in his teens, don't settle. And a lot of, I think, where that's coming from, and it's interesting, and I I actually can can relate quite a bit to that comment, um, comes from, you know, we talked about having grown up in a blue collar family and his dad worked, I think, for, I think he said that, I don't remember off the top of my head, but his dad was a, you know, it was a blue collar uh, guy and his mom worked and they worked two jobs sometimes to be able to buy him a new baseball glove or whatever it was. And, and, you know, um, my actual upbringing was my dad was not a blue collar worker, but he was a first generation immigrant and worked hard and had seven kids. And, you know, we didn't always have a lot of extra things, but we had everything we needed. And the don't settle part is that sometimes I think we grow up in a certain uh, environment or a certain context. And we, we think of ourselves within that context and, and how we can reach, reach beyond that. And the point that he was making is through his career, he ended up, you know, taking um, some um, programs at Harvard and going back to school and getting an MBA and really eventually pushing himself and realizing the capacity that he had and realizing what he was capable of accomplishing and kind of looking back and saying, I wish I had realized early what I could do. And sometimes we don't understand maybe because of, you know, whether it was the environment that we grew up in or what an expectation was, like what it, what it meant to level up um, from where we were to where, or where the circumstances we grew up in versus what we want to aspire to. And sometimes we don't, we don't realize as a result of that, what our capacity is. And so don't settle is really around don't allow somebody else or something else to determine for you what you are capable of being and achieving. Go for it. Have the gusto to go for it. And one of the really big things that Steve talked about that was a a real impact in his life was he was a lifelong learner. And um, 
What does that mean? And how can you translate that? How can you utilize that as a way to leverage yourself and to continue to push yourself and to realize that you can be things that you may not have thought were possible? And a lifelong learner does not necessarily mean you have to always be in college. It doesn't necessarily mean that you always have to be paying tuition somewhere necessarily, but it does mean that you have to always be challenging yourself to develop new skills, develop greater insights. One of the amazing things about living in the world we live in today is how much access there is to education. And when I say that, I mean, even for like not having to pay a lot of money for it. Granted, it's very expensive to go to college. It's very expensive to go to grad school. Those things are very expensive and they don't always work. But what is always available to us is information and the ability to learn and grow. And one of the things Steve talked about was all the books he read and how many books he read, business books, and always kind of uh, turning to people who have been really successful or who have achieved and talking about their secrets in leadership or their insights in, in growing and developing skills and how he applied those in different situations. And I think that sometimes it's really easy to be overwhelmed with how much is available to us that we don't necessarily take advantage of what's available to us. But being a lifelong learner means regularly reaching out for new inputs is what I would call them. And you can get them for free. You can get them for a little bit of money or you can get them for a lot of money. But there are podcasts, there are online webinars, there are books, there are so many things that can give you additional insight and information to help you build, be it your career, be it your leadership skills, be it your insights, be it habits. It's out there and it's available to you. And one of the keys I think that I took away from Steve and having had many conversations with him is he has never stopped finding inputs and looking at situations on what he can learn from that situation and how he can grow and how he can, can, de can de tend to continue to develop as a result of it. Um, you know, one of the things I love about being a coach, this is, this is going to sound odd, but one of the things I love about being a coach is I'm accredited by the International uh, Coaching Federation. I have an accreditation. And in order to continue to have that accreditation, I have to have professional development credits, fairly substantial amount of them every couple of years that I have to log in in order to maintain my accreditation. And just Knowing that I have to do that pushes me to constantly be out there looking for what is the best new thing I can learn about my field? What is the best new application? What is the best new theory? Who's written some interesting books lately? Who are some new thought leaders? And a lot of that, that should apply to you in whatever you're doing. It doesn't matter what your job is. You should be learning about what you want your next job to be. Or if you don't have a career, you should be learning how to be better at whatever, even if it's being better at being informed about what's going around you in your community, in our country, in our government, the list is endless. But the thing I would say about that is don't settle for limited input. I think that's how I would edit that statement that he had. Don't settle for limited input. Seek insight, seek information, seek education. The more you do that, the better you will be, the better your brain will be. And don't allow, there is no reason for your circumstances to limit your knowledge. It's available, it's out there. You have to reach out and get it. So um, develop that mindset of what can I learn? And one of the things that I've challenged myself with is every quarter I look at like, what is a new class I can take? What is a new skill I can develop? And I make sure that quarterly I like dive into something pretty deep, whether that is, you know, a book and a workbook and, you know, webinars on a particular topic, 
whether that is an actual you know class that I'm taking or whether that is a program I'm working towards accreditation on, I make it a goal quarterly to always have something very substantial that I'm learning about. And, and what I have found is learning in one area helps you develop in other areas. Learning does not have boundaries to it. So the things that you learn are the things that you do. You don't only apply in one place. You apply them usually across multiple facets of your life. So my takeaway from the conversation with Steve Gallo is, A, don't settle. And the way not to settle is to always look for learning opportunities. So that's that for today. I hope that's helpful. And I hope that if you haven't thought about that, think about that. Whether that's a professional organization that you decide to join so you can talk with other people about where they get their learning opportunities, whether that's a webinar you're going to take, whether that's a podcast you're going to listen to on a regular basis. Inputs. How do you expand your inputs so that you have different forms of learning on a regular basis and different types of learning around different subjects? So that's my thought of the day. Those things will absolutely help get you from where you are now to where you want to get to. So I hope you're having a good week and I look forward to catching up with you next week. Next week, I have my end of the season wrap up session because we're going into summer. And so I'm going to take a break in the podcast and start again in September. So next week is heading into summer. What are you thinking about? How is this season and where we're going after that? So I hope you'll join me next week. And for now, that's it. Keep driving. Take care. Hey, thanks so much for joining us this week on Beyond Neutral. I'm your host, Paula Reed. Make sure to visit our website, www.readandco.com for this week's show notes. And if you found value in today's episode, I would appreciate you giving us a rating on Apple Podcasts or share it with a friend. Also, don't forget to subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, or wherever you get your podcasts. All of this helps to support the show. Have a great week.